Face of a Matter, it's Jalen here, and I'm back with another video. Um, before we get started, I just want to say Happy Memorial Day to you all. If you do celebrate Memorial Day, I'm actually recording on Memorial Day. I don't know if this video will be out today on Memorial Day because I just put out a video on Memorial Day. But this video is just basically going to be about me talking about my hair journey. A lot of you have been requesting how do I get from relaxed black hair to bleached uh, natural hair and naturally curly and all that stuff. So I will just be talking about my hair. I don't know how detailed I can get it, especially like picture wise. But if not, just go by what I'm selling you, how my hair looked and all that stuff. And I have some products up here that I'm currently using to treat my hair and all that stuff so we can get down into it. So if you're interested in listening to me talk, I'm just gonna warn you this is basically me talking and holding up products. So if you aren't interested in that, then don't watch. You know what I'm saying? And don't feel the need to comment telling me you didn't like it because you don't want to hear me talk. I'm letting you know I'm talking. But if you are interested, let's go ahead and get started, my loves. All right, so to begin, so basically when I first started doing my hair, I started ninth grade. I was getting ready to do the ninth grade. I had this long hair and my hair, my natural hair color is like a, it's like a natural brown, reddish, goldeny like shade. I think it became permanent when I played soccer back in like grade school and it was just a bunch of different colors so when I started I wanted like a new look or whatever when I was getting ready to start high school so what I did was I cut my hair into this symmetrical bob thing so it was like short here and then it got longer going down this way looking like somebody's grandma I did not like it I mean if you have the hairstyle I'm not saying you look like a grandma but I feel like I personally look like a grandma my beautician, I have, I have had the same beautician ever since I moved to where I'm living currently. And she's been doing my hair for years, so she knows my hair just like her hair, I guess you can say. But um, basically, from then on, I was just cutting, cutting, cutting. And then finally, I'll say around 10th, going into my junior year, is when I really chopped it off. I went the shortest I had ever been. It was a slick black haircut, and I had like a little bit of length up here. And it was really edgy, so I kept I kept that for a while. Some people tried to copy me in high school, and then I'm just like, really? But whatever. Um, had black hair all through high school, basically. I don't even think, only other color I think I did go to was red, and maybe some golden. But other than that, I didn't go any exotic colors. But this is the craziest I've ever been with my hair. So here we are getting out of high school. Um, I still have the same hair. I'll put a picture here because I do have recent pictures. So I'll put a picture somewhere here. And I had dark hair when I graduated. And yeah, and I kept getting, I had been getting relaxers ever since I started going to my beautician. Some years after, because I was pretty young when I started going to her. So she didn't put a relaxer on my long hair. But when it became short, I needed to relax it because my hair was thick, it was poofy, it was curly. So I said, yeah, let's relax it. Let's get it slick and beautiful and let's get it. So from then on, um, even starting college, I always, like you guys have seen currently, like in the vlogs and stuff, or even my videos until now, I've had braids back uh, last year when I went on the beach trip. I had braids. I had braids a few times after that as well. And then it's just been relaxer, braids, relaxer, you know, dying get black. I didn't get permanent black hair. I only got semi-permanent, which is basically like a black rinse. You should, uh, some people call it differently, semi-permanent or black rinse. Um, if you wash it enough, it'll come out, but it stayed in a few weeks. Um, and then I got relaxed just like that same day. So my hair had become, you know, it was the same. It, I guess it was prone, it was used to the relaxers. So here now having this hair, right before I got this, you guys have seen I had dark hair. Now, thing about it is, I, di I don't get relaxers like every time I go to the beautician. I might get a relaxer maybe once a month, depending on how bad my hair is. I know sometimes, especially like in the summertime, if I'm going swimming or I'm washing my hair a lot or if I'm wearing turbans and just washing it because that relaxer is going to wash out and it's going to come, it's going to become back to its natural state. So then it just started to just... I don't know, I just wanted something different. So I was talking about different hairstyles, even on Instagram I was asking, should I go back black? Should I just relax it? What should I do? So I decided to go natural. So me going natural, what I did, I had asked my beautician, should I just shave it off and just let it grow back out to its natural state? She told me that your relaxed hair, well my relaxed hair can grow out of a relaxer and become back to its natural state. So that's what I did. My hair was already short, so, and my hair grows like really fast as you can tell I'm already having new growth already my hair hasn't been dyed for like three weeks 
if that. So with that, I just let it grow and as it growed, I would cut the dead pieces. So I didn't cut a lot, but I would cut the dead pieces as I go. So once I bleached my hair, even that same day I posted the photo of my bleached hair, which I'll probably put somewhere here on the screen, um, I still had like a lot of dead ends. Dead ends meaning it was like dead hair. It flopped over, it didn't curl, it was just, it was just ugly. So what I did as I continued to go on with my hairstyle today, right now it's flat, but I probably have like this much left of relaxed hair. And when I say relaxed hair, I mean damaged, bleached, colored, relaxed, damaged hair that does not naturally curl. It just flops over when it's wet. So as you know, as it grows, as it grows even more, I just steadily cut the ends off. So now that it's natural and it curls up and I wear hairstyles like this, I don't mind it being uneven on either side because you really can't tell unless it's just wet and poofy, you know, whatever. But um, as it's wet, it does naturally curl now and I'm not exactly sure what kind of hair color she does put in my hair. She tells me, but I don't forget. I mean, she's a professional, so I let her do what she does. She does a phenomenal job with my hair. She always has, so that's why I continue to go to her. But um, she was even scared to put all of the bleach in my hair because she knew I still had relaxed hair in my scalp. So she didn't even want to put it in there, but she did anyway. And it came out pretty good. It came out very well. So as of now, my hair is currently natural. I don't put any chemicals in it whatsoever. I condition it, I shampoo it, and I use my, my foaming lotion and some eco styling gel and some oil, and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and flip over into the detailed products, so let's do that. All right, so just to oil my hair, I've mentioned this before, back when I had first colored my hair, right when I had like my cubicle, I had just built my cubicle or whatever. Um, this is the Hollywood Beauty Argan Oil Moroccan Hair Treatment Oil. This I can usually find in CVS or Walmart. Some other places don't carry it, but you just have to pick and choose because even my beauty supply store doesn't carry this. So I had to kind of find out where it is. I found out about this oil through one of my friends from the vlogs, uh, Shai, he, he introduced me to this. Uh, he has natural hair, so whatever. Um, this oil is very thick, but it is very good for oil, or like, well, for color hair, I mean. Um, it keeps it moisturized all day long. Other kind of hair treatments and oil treatments I've had just kind of sit for like a few hours maybe and then it's gone. This, I'll still feel it the next day. It works great. So I don't use this as much now that I condition my hair with other things and keep it nice and oiled up or whatever. But I don't pick this up as much, but this is something that you would want to use if you do have bleached hair and you do put heat in it. Oh, that's another thing. I don't put heat in this hair at all anymore. I don't use heat at all. So. Um, yeah, so if you do continue to use heat, use this and it will keep your hair nice and conditioned. For treatment, I like to use these Ion Hair Repair Packets. These I found out through my sister and you can I find these in the Sally Beauty Supply Store. Um, these run for like almost $3 a pack, which is pretty good, which is really good. Um, it's a lot in here. I think you can use like half the pack because when it comes out, it's a lot that comes out. So usually I'll use half the pack and try to save it and then when I do it again, I'll just use the rest. So you get two uses out of it for three bucks, which I think is phenomenal. But I think they do have a bigger box or whatever that you can use. So you don't have to keep using the little packets. But these are convenient though. You can take these on the road with you if you want to condition your hair and all that stuff. But this is a hair treatment. This keeps my hair from breaking. Um, if you are familiar with hair coloring and, and relaxing it, your hair can become frail. Frail means when it's wet, you can literally pull your hair and it'll just, it's like, it's like stringy. You can like pull it and it's, it's, that's, it's not a good sign. So you could pull it and it was just literally, you can just pull your hair out and that's, that means your hair is about to fall out if you add anything else to it. But right after I colored it, I will admit my hair was like that. I could literally look at my hair while it was wet and I could pull it and I would just see hair coming out and I'm like, oh my God. So right then and there, my beautician put a conditioner in it. She says, make sure you condition your hair all the time so it can snap back and it did. With the help of these, my hair snapped back quickly. I don't have that issue anymore at all, and I am going to dye my hair again soon because, as I, as I said, I have new growth, and I don't like that, <laughs> so I wanna dye it again. So these saved my hair quickly. All right, so moving on, I love this stuff. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus? Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Enhancing Smoothie. 
Um, this is for thick curly hair. I feel like this is for people who have really long curly hair because I know when I put this in, it just kind of stays and, and it stays white. But this is a, like a conditioner for my hair. I love the way it makes my hair feel. Um, every time I wash and condition my hair, I put this in it and I put this in overnight. It does dry in your hair, so it, but it's not gonna flick up or anything, but it does make your hair really soft. And it's a curling enhancer, so it just, I guess it just makes your hair even curlier. But of course my hair is short, so it's not gonna curl but so much. So I feel like I could get a lot of, you know, good results when my hair gets longer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it short yet, so don't even ask, because I don't know. But um, this does really help my hair. It conditions it, it makes it smell good, it hydrates it and everything. And I got this bottle for 12 bucks at Sally, the beauty supply store. So there's that. As far as styling goes, I only use two products. Two products, you have seen these before on my channel. So right after I wash my hair and condition or whatever I need to do with it and I'm ready to style it, I part it just as I, just like today, I part it where I want it. And I put the Silk Elements uh, Foaming Hair Lotion in it. Only reason I use this is because I love the way it smells and I love foaming lotion because it does, um, it leaves it soft but also it just like molds your hair to where you want it so it won't be like moving everywhere or whatever. And this is the stuff I also did use when I used to put heat in my hair. So when I wanted it to lay flat, I would put this in it and you know, put something tight on it so it can lay flat. And then when I flat ironed it, it would style really nicely. But I still like to use this for the same purpose. But I don't, I don't have it flat or put heat in it, but I do use it for basically form. And also, um, the product I'm getting ready to show you, using this first it does help with flaking or my hair being too hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. This is the Eco Professional Styling Gel I like to use. This is how I get my little waves and this is how I get my curls to naturally stay like in a certain spot. My hair is gonna curl regardless, but with the styling, it just keeps it like in a certain spot that I want it. So to say, just like this, if I was to use only this, my hair would not stay like that. So I have to use some gel with it to keep it. This does not flake on me. I know some of you have said this does flake on you, but for me, it doesn't. And I feel like it's because of this foaming lotion that I use first. It does not make my hair super hard. It does not make it flaky or just, you know what I'm saying? Like you touch it, like, oh my God, it's rock. It doesn't do that at all. Like my hair is still pretty, excuse me. My hair is still pretty soft. I can run my hands through it and all of that stuff. So these two together, I find perfect when styling my hair. So that's basically it. I don't do anything extra. Everything I showed you is what I use. So I'll try to link everything I mentioned below. As far as further preferences go with my hair, I am gonna dye it again, like I said a few moments ago, because I'm having some new growth. My natural hair color is coming back through. And I don't know if I'm gonna let it grow out long. I'm really loving my hair short. I feel like short hair fits me the best. I've had long hair before and I looked at myself, you know, a while ago and I'm just like, mm. I just feel like short hair just kind of makes me stand out. It just, it just fits me, I think. But um, as far as that goes, I'm not sure. But I hope this answers a lot of your questions that you are wondering about my hair. I know a lot of you had asked me, was my hair still natural or relaxed? I mean, like I said before, the last relaxer I have gotten before I got it colored, it might have been like a, let's see, maybe a two month period. I got a relaxer on so-and-so date two months ago and then I got it colored. So it was maybe like a month and some change, almost two months of a gap before I did color it. But we did want to wait and I did wash my hair a lot before I did that. So don't think you can get a relaxer one week, wash your hair a ton of times and get it the second week because no, 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 no. Please don't do that. I do not want your hair falling out. So give your hair some time to get out of its state, especially if you have naturally curly hair and you did relax it. Wait until you see your hair start to curl back up again, then you know that relaxer's coming out of it. So that's what I had to do. So once I see my hair start being poofy and it wouldn't lay down, I knew right then and there, relaxer was no more in my hair, except for the damaged pieces and I can't, I couldn't really help that. So instead of waiting for that to kind of grow out, I just cut those off because those are at the very end now of my hair, so I don't need to just let it grow on out. I just cut it and then my whole entire head can be natural. So as I said before, I hope this helped. Um, I just said a mouthful. So yeah, so any questions, if, if, if I didn't answer anything um, that you were wondering, just go ahead and leave the question in the comment section and I'll scan through them once the video is up and see if you did ask any questions and I'll get to them because I know a lot of you do ask a lot about my hair. So 
Um, without any further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. As I always say, if you are new, thank you for stopping by and watching. And if you aren't, thank you for sticking around for so long. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you have not already. I love you guys to death. God bless you all. And have a happy Memorial Day again. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.